My life purpose is to help people be true to their inner calling and lead the life they love. And what I've come to realize that in order to do that, there's really two pieces to that. One is be true to your inner calling. And then the second is lead the life that you love. First is being true to your inner calling. And what I mean by that is what is your soul saying to you? What in your heart of hearts, what is it that you really, really want for yourself? Why are you here? What are you doing? And are you fully in alignment with the full potential that you are? And in asking yourself that question, am I being true to my inner calling? The first step to that is if you ask the question, you have to get quiet enough to hear the answer. And that's why for the last 10 years, I've been a huge advocate of creating space in your life to reflect and ask yourself questions and get your journal out and meditate and ponder and be curious as to what is it that I really, really want for myself? And that's a really great question to ask yourself is what do I really, really want? So in order to be true to your calling, you first have to hear what that calling is. So how do you know when you've heard the calling? Well, one thing that I know for sure is that you will start to see patterns and serendipities in your life. So things will start to come into your life to show you what your calling is, to show you that the universe is here to conspire with you and help you make all your dreams come true. Because I think we try to make life so much harder than it actually is by disconnecting from that calling and doing what everybody else tells us we should be doing. But what if you were to give yourself permission to get quiet, even if it's just 10 minutes a day, let go of what other people want from you, let go of expectations, let go of all the busyness and all the things that you have to get done, and just be and see what your soul is calling you to be.